what's going on collective how we doing welcome back bg here with a new deck of cards called the energy oracle we're going to get into it we got tarot we got divine guidance on here we're going to see what's got what's going on for the collective i've been picking up on some strange stuff so we're just going to hop right in all the things are down in the description like always let's just see what spirits got for you you guys know i love and appreciate you thank you so much for being here okay holy spirit please come down with your angels my ancestors loved ones and spirit guides to help protect and guide me through this reading for our collective with clear honest and precise messages holy spirit please protect us all as i channel this energy surround me and my household with positive and loving energy and cast all evil and darkness away from me and my collective and all that we love thank you so much holy spirit all right folks look gg's got i'm trying to keep it at 20 minutes we're gonna see if i can do it all right we're gonna see if i can do it cross your fingers i'm trying to work on my time management let's see what spirit's got for us okay holy spirit what is the energy surrounding us what is the zodiac energy surrounding us tonight july 17th 2022 at 10 5 p.m what is our energy that we are picking up on i have been i sent i put up on a community post about a queen of swords that's looking to stab her soon-to-be ex-husband in the heart three times one with the truth and proof of cheating and with divorce papers and a massive ego death that will literally ruin his reputation and i feel like this reading is going to be based on that so let's see what's going on what is the zodiac energy please spirit what is the zodiac energy please and thank you holy spirit thank you on the bottom we have pisces Check all placements, Mercury, for Gemini and Virgo, and Lila -la -la <laughs> I crack myself up. Okay, we're going to crack uh, crack into the energy oracle and see what these beautiful new cards have to tell us about this. Yeah, I've been picking up on this energy for a little while. Somebody is not happy at all. And I want to see more. So, Spirit, can I please have the opening messages for this reading? I want to see what's cracking. I would have done this earlier, but I had studying and editing on a paper that's due this week. And I just needed to prioritize. So, let's see what the energy is, Spirit. Somebody should be making their spouse a priority. Remember how Gigi always says, there is a pecking order. It is your, the, of course, first and foremost, the most high God, yourself, your spouse, your children, your friends, your, your family, your friends, and all the rest. Okay? If you are placing everything else over your wife or your husband and you're off cheating and bullshitting and playing fucking games, yeah, you are definitely heading headfirst into a disaster and it will literally ruin your rep reputation with your community, your family, your friends, your work colleagues, anybody and everybody that knows you. It's going to destroy your reputation. Blossoming abundance. Somebody's on a journey to blossoming abundance. the sun leo on the bottom there's strategy door to spirit and all of this is causing somebody serious serious anxiety oh 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 shit spirit come through i'll give you guys the information here in a second Give me just a second. Keep going. Okay. Now, let me explain to you what I'm seeing. There is a, somebody's on a journey to a blossoming abundance and complete happiness. Okay. Of course, we know that the sun is Leo and all things. Okay. The thing is, is this sun, sun is, I'm being shown is the bright light on the path 
that who I, I believe it's you collective that this sun is lighting up this path this journey that's leading you to your abundance it's literally got to be like this no joke and you guys saw me shuffle you see this it's not it i did not plan this especially because i got one of these on the bottom okay look that light is leading you on that this sun this happiness is that light right there it's spirit's way of shining you as you got all your shit together and you're going down this path and it's he's leading you spirit is leading you to something that is going to bring you complete wish fulfillment okay i have been picking up on this all day all day and like i said i've tried i've sat down this is now my third time sitting here trying to do this reading in between studying and all different kinds of things okay this here is is look it says journal log let me get it up close for you okay journal log okay i want you to take note of this compass right there okay the pen and the coins those coins is that abundance okay right now spirits trying to, to get you on to do north you see how it's sitting between east and west and not sitting can you see that clearly maybe not either way it's not focused in directly on north it's kind of sitting about 15 ish or so degrees maybe a little bit more towards the west than it is on north you need to get yourself back on that north on that north track maybe you're having a little pr problem and it's kind of steering you away from your north node. No, no, you need to continue to follow that sun, that light of happiness and abundance down that path. You may not have the abundance you want right now, but you have more of an abundance than the person that's mirroring you right now. Okay? There's something in a journal that needs to come either come out or has already come out. And it's going to give you the strategy and the tools you need to get that needle on due north. Okay, that will lead you directly to this blossoming abundance. Okay, this here, once this journal is open and that message comes out, it's going to be your doorway. The spirit's going to open that doorway and it's going to be all that light that's coming from this sun confirmation here. Okay, this here is going to be this shining right into you like this and it's just going to flood in, but somebody needs to sit down because there's so many other possibilities that could happen especially if the energy i'm picking up on is being manipulated in a way to where you don't get your full wish fulfillment somebody is use, utilizing your tantric connection your twin flame connection against you right now he's been thinking about you he knows he knows how much you may love him unconditionally from a distance there is a separation and it's killing him because he knows maybe even if it's on a spiritual level that's causing him to feel a certain kind of way about you right now collective he may be cursing you under his breath he may be thinking horrible thoughts about you and it may be throwing you off i'm being told only 15 degrees is that right spirit yes he's only through this energy warfare is coming at you and it's only throwing you off about 15 degrees and you need to clear that 15 degrees in and get back on that due north kind of energy okay you need to get back on the right path you're you are slowly kind of eh, veering off just a little bit stepping out of your north node and maybe backtracking just a little bit but spirit saying in the here and now you may need to tap into this here we're going to look into this really quickly because i know archangel Raphael is the angel that helps you with bad dreams helps you heal relationships and stuff the thing is is i feel like whoever this thinking man is 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 trying to steer you away from this with opening up doors energetically to mundane things stresses trying to pull stresses you know push stress stressors in your path you need to journal you need to journal the more you journal the more you continue down this path the more you follow this light the more happiness you expel uh, you expel all the the caring and the nurturing and all of the discipline and, and um diligence that you are people are accustomed to seeing you you need to stay in that energy because the more you stay in that energy, the less these doors are going to open. You see how there's a straight path right here? This is this. This walkway is this journey. 
This light is the sunshine, okay? There's going to be doors that are going to open up in every direction to try to trip you up, okay? You need to steer around them and keep going forward. Right now, I feel like you're about to step in here, and if you don't shift a little bit, you're going to go right into that, and you don't want to. It's basically like this is going to be your restart. If you fall into this hole, you got to start from the beginning all over again. You don't want to veer left. You don't want to veer right, because these are that north and uh, the east and west um parts where that needle right here the the needle on the compass is pointing to it's like are you going to go in here or are you going to go in here or are you going to keep going straight spirit wants you to keep going straight you're on the right path you just need to get back on track you may have had to step around this this 15 degrees that you might have gone either which direction to get away from this needs to get cleared out you need to get back on the straight and narrow if that makes any sense because the the quicker you do that the more it's going to just push you and, sh and shoot you forward into the, uh, the the abundance that's meant for you, okay? Do not let your, your love, your unconditional love, keep you from staying diligent and disciplined, okay? I want to read more about this one. Give me just a second. This is a, I literally just bought this deck today, so please give me just a second. I want to read this verbatim, okay? Raphael extends a beautiful green energy surrounded by gentle waves of pink to your heart center. This card upright indicates that you now have a greater readiness to receive love from others as well as yourself. It could also indicate that a much needed healing from a previous broken heart is taking place. The tender vibrations of Raphael's reminds you remind you to encourage yourself with the compassionate self-talk that you desire to hear from others. Know that as you do, the light from your heart center will shine with the irresistible beauty and the universe will send people and situations that cause your sense of love and support to grow and grow. This is what I'm talking about. I feel so intensely that there is energetic warfare because somebody does not, your twin does not want you to meet certain people. He wants to see you or she wants to see you collective. I feel like it's a him wants to see you trip up and fall down that and start all over again because that may very well mean that he gets a leg up and gets to keep his high position and gets to keep to, to stay at the top of that wheel of fortune it it all literally is in your hands collective if you want to hear somebody call you beautiful then you look in that mirror and say you're beautiful if you're feeling kind of eh, overworked underpaid feeling kind of blah 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 and you're just like no what you need to do is you need to get that in your ass in the bathtub soak get you a little mani get you a little pedicure go get your uh, eyebrows done go for a nice walk get a good sweat in, have a good meal go get yourself in realignment get because remember it's you, spirit you your your hubby your spouse whatever your kids and then everybody else yeah Right now, it needs to just be you and spirit, okay? If you've got a lot on your plate, if you've got a lot overwhelming you, if you've got deadlines at work or tests to take or family that needs attention or whatever it is, you need to not make sure you prioritize yourself because a happy you means a happy universe around you, okay? And right now, as long as you stay in that happy, happy energy and you stay balanced and fulfilled, you will continue down that path and there ain't no, no motherfucking that's going to sit there and throw you off your path to abundance. You need to start journaling. There's something in a journal that you may already have or there may be a something that spirit needs to tell you that needs to come out in a journal. Get your journal before you get tripped up and land in one of these that leads you in a completely different direction than what you're meant for. It's going to stress. It, you may be under a lot of stress and anxiety, stressing out about things. But the thing is, it's, it's because of energy. It's energy warfare right now. This is this is holy warfare times 10 right now. And spirits, is spirit blocking any of it on the nose big time because of your obedience? The thing is, is there are going to be things that challenge you. And right now, Spirit wants to challenge you in a way that is literally maybe one of your biggest weaknesses, whatever that may be, a codependency of some sort, whether it's drinking or, you know, some people like to eat when they're sad, you know, those feel good, those, the, you know, the soul food, getting them, you know, comfort foods, all of those things, you know, overindulging in those 
sleeping too much, too much tech, not in wanting to be around anybody. No, all of that needs to be stopped. You know, we all go through ups and downs, peaks and valleys in this life. You understand? It's how we handle them. There's a doorway that spirit is opening for you. That's that's you. It, you're right there on the nose. Big time. You're right there. You just need to keep going straight. Level yourself back out. Get things organized, prioritize and go. You have a big heart. You may very well wear it on your sleeve. You may have overextended yourself and burnt yourself out and that's okay. Your heart chakra was in the right place and now it's time for you to take a rest, get back on course and drive forward with everything you got in you because this here is where you might have had you know you've been wearing your heart on your sleeve you overextending yourself doing way more than normal trying to help trying to do things and it almost tripped you up now it's like okay you got over that hurdle now you need to get back there's that 15 degrees that you you steered off because you weren't prioritizing now you got to get back on the straight and narrow and it's not going to take much it's going to take maybe one day of you getting back mentally and taking it has it already started to happen on the nose big time somebody realized that they were kind of off kilter and now they're getting back on their track okay whoever you are collective you have been transforming and you know when things start to slip up what's going on and you know how to get back but there's something about this that's really really keeping me from like Please go look at your past journals from the last year or two, read into it, read them from cover to cover, take notes, and then go to your new journal and write something out. There's something that needs to come out on the bottom of the deck, the goddess of the moon. Always pay attention to the moon phases because it's going to literally affect everything that's happening with your emotions. Okay, that's our moon sign controls our emotions now if your moon you need to go look and see what's in your moon sign friend please go look at what's in your moon sign because it's going to rule you and control and, and guide you i'm being shown psychic abilities it's going to be your shining star your north star utilize them please second second chakra archangel ariel okay this looks like it's your solar plexus chakra let me double check Get yourself in balance. This energy, thank you, spirit. I don't need to go any further than this because I'm going to go into tarot next really quickly. I know it's going to be more than 20 minutes, but hey, we'll try to keep it under 30. Somebody's sexual energy is out of alignment and it's because of this energy manipulation. Somebody's trying to utilize sex to keep somebody interested, intrigued, possibly paying for it overindulging somebody at whatever but i feel like it's throwing your sexual energy out of whack big freaking time big freaking time and it's him he's in anxiety he feels i really feel like this man knows something's about to happen whether he realizes it psychically emotionally whatever something in him knows that shit's about to hit the fan one way or another and it's causing him to do some crazy things he doesn't want to get caught he doesn't want to get divorced he doesn't want this he doesn't want to lose everything the thing is is it's almost at the point where it's like unconditionally has a condition is what spirit's telling me on the nose big time somebody says their love is unconditional until forgiveness is no longer an option, I'm being told, because of lies and deception. Can I clear this? Okay. Yeah. Somebody's lies and deception broke somebody's and broke broken vows, caused somebody to snap, and now they're emotionally distraught and unconditional love is not is non-existent for this person and they're scorned bad badly very 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 badly 
and they're about to unleash the wrath. Like I said, I've been picking up on this energy all day and I've had to put it on the back burner because of the fact that I have I have priorities that are out. To, oh, somebody is pissed off about somebody's lover. We got Gemini out here again. Separation, closing the distance, wants to go towards the lover. That's you, collective. That's you, collective. They want to come towards you. Manipulation is revenge. Something you did, collective, or something you gave this person. They want revenge and they may use it on you as uh, revenge and if they want to take it out they're going to manipulate you they want to the thing is spirit says that there is something in that journal that you may have written without realizing that may lead you to understanding what what i'm talking about Sorry, I'm just trying to make sense of what I'm seeing in my head. Is she breaking things on the nose big time? She's looking for something. I'm not allowed to say that. No, okay. You were bored of being married. It's haunting you. This whole thing is coming at you quick. You were weighing out the, uh, you were indecisive. You couldn't make up your mind. You couldn't make up your mind is to, to, to marry or not to marry. That was the question. You married and chose the wrong one. And now you're about to have to face karma for all the things that you did leading up to this moment and I'm being told it's showing me fraternizing with the enemy and the enemy is you collective but the thing is is the only reason you're the enemy is because you were about to take from this sea witch all the luxuries all the adventures all the all the things status Sports cars, nice houses, all of that, and they were lit, they were pissed off, miserable, and the thing is, it's the envy and jealousy is ridiculous. I literally see like this woman turning green with envy. Confirmation. You wanted your lover. I'll be out in a minute. You wanted your lover. Spirit was trying to give it to you. Spirit was trying to give you that lover. Okay? Hand it to you. But because of all these other ties that you had down here, and it could be other relationships, or other people trying to keep you in the relationship you're in right now that you're about to lose, you turned away a gift. You were indecisive. You chose the wrong one. And it's haunting you. Oh yeah, spirit was that hurry, hurry, lover, come to me thing is screaming at me right now. Y'all manifested each other, whether you want to admit it or not. It's time to take control and move ahead. Nothing's going to happen unless someone takes action. The situation may be new or feel new or different from past experiences, creating a sense of anxiety or uncertainty. The thing is, is the, the anxiety and uncertainty he's feeling right now has to do with the fact that there's about to be three stabs at him from that Queen of Swords that I have been picking up on all day long. Three of them. He's going to get, I, I said this in that community post and I'm going to say it again. He has a stab coming when she hands him documentation, black and white proof that she caught him cheating. Whether it's like a private investigator's report, uh, 
text messages, whatever. I see documents being handed, video clips, all different kinds of stuff. He got caught red-handed, literally red-handed. Then he's going to be served divorce papers, and he's going to be going through a court hearing that may very well take him for everything he's, he owns. Okay, so you, hopefully you got a good prenup. Third, you are going to literally be dragged across the coals in front of everybody that you know. Everybody and anybody that knows that you exist, it may go all over social media. It may very well get to the person, your lover that you're in separation with, that you chose the wrong one. Yeah, see the cup that the Spirit's handing you? That's the collective. That's you, collective, right there. You were the one Spirit was trying to give him, and he chose the wrong one. Yeah, you may even be getting an email or a phone call or a letter in the mail or some kind of documentation, something, and it may very well be coming very soon, okay? Because somebody who did not make the right decisions, didn't weigh out his options, didn't think logically, and was sitting here uh, dealing. Now he going to deal with. He's going to be raked through the fucking coals. Oh my god! I do not want to be this person. Nope. Don't want anything to do with this. Nope. He may not be able to eat. May not be able to sleep. And he is definitely not thinking straight right now. I really feel like he's in anxiety, trying to do everything, lay in that pipe as good as he can get it spoiling her rotten anything she wants he's bending over backwards to do it anything and everything anything and everything i'm gonna go through it and see what else spirit and then i gotta get to my divine guidance what else spirit I saw that one on the bottom of the star. Oh boy. All right. King of Swords. Oh, look who that is. Very much. There's the king. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. King of Swords. This is you, Collective. This is the Empress right here. There you are, Collective. There you are. This, this here is this Schmo over here. This is Joe Schmo over here refusing the cup of love. That is the Empress. That is you. There he is. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's very intellectual. He's got a good, he's got a good way of thinking. He's got, he can lay out strategy easily, but you see that sword? He will easily use that to turn around and stab you with it if he feels anything is getting moved out of the way of him being on top. And that's what I'm talking about when it comes down to this energetic warfare. He wants revenge. He's not, you see, he's your twin, but he's not in his emperor, sta emperor status right now because he's sitting here living a lie being deceptive okay and he's got a sea witch he's used to being a shining star in the middle of center of all of the attention now he's heavily burdened because it's something he did to himself and he's not going to be able to see those seeds that were sown come to fruitation he can sit there all day long working the harvest and like i said he's overworking it because he's heavily burdened which means he i'm it's not in reverse however i feel like it should be that heavy burden is causing him to do everything and anything he can to keep wifey or whoever this is happy. He's never going to see those seeds come to fruitation because she's going to rake him through the coals one way or another. Because the thing is, is he can't stop thinking about you. You see, his eyes are, are reverted. You're watching him. You may very well know what he's doing. You may be watching him energetically, whatever the case may be. But the thing is, is he can't even give you eye contact. He's just looking down, holding that sword up, like pr protecting himself. He's exhausted. He's tired. He's fed up. He doesn't know what to do. He's heavily burdened. He did this shit to himself, first of all. Okay, don't play the victim. You did this to yourself. You need to unbind yourself from this position. So you can have the world in your hands like this one. Right now, you don't. You are about to fall from grace. So you can keep planting those seeds. You can keep trying to tend, the, tend to that, that garden over there that is your wifey poo, the queen of swords. The whole time, all you're going to be doing is thinking of her. Okay? And it's going to burden you. And you're going to slip up. And you're going to make mistakes. And that's exactly what is meant to happen. You need to have that, that third strike when everybody in your circle is going to know about, that's going to be an ego death. Big one. 
I can understand why you can't eat, can't sleep, can't think straight. Tripping up, stressing out. You may not be doing it to the best of your ability. It may very well be affecting your job, which is why this is in reverse. This is in reverse not only because of the fact that you are a liar and deceptive, you're a cheater on top of it, and you're stressing out, so you're not doing everything up to par. You're half-assing certain things. Too focused on punani and pacifying wifey poo or whoever your serious relationship is, but the thing is, there is a but. You constantly are thinking about the empress, your lover. The one you turned away and caused a separation with because you couldn't make a decision. Can make a decision. The this I wanted to read this for a second. I'm am I hiding under my light under a barrel? Where can I find healing and ref, the ref, the healing and refreshment I need by telling the truth, unburdening yourself? Releasing yourself from these chains of being in a false relationship with somebody you don't want to be with. Is she a ch No, she is not your empress. You may have put her on a pedestal and made her feel like a princess, but she ain't no fucking empress. She hasn't earned it. Especially the energy I'm feeling like she wants to stab you with her sword. Like, no shit. No shit, bro. Like, she seriously wants to stab you with a sword three times. This card indicates success and public acknowledgement of an achievement. The only thing that you're going to get acknowledged about is your cheating. That cheating heart, your lies and deception and breaking this person's heart. She may come across as a sweetheart of this, you know, people well known amongst your circle. Everybody loves her because she's a false person and she knows how to put on a charade. A charade, whatever. 3131 on the timer. Whatever you give your best efforts, skills, and dedication will accumulate with pride. No, the only thing that's going to happen here, this is meant to be a, good, a, 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 a beautiful card. Like, yes, you've worked so hard, you should get acknowledgement. But in this case, the only thing that you're working hard towards is a divorce. And you will be acknowledged for that in front of everybody that she tells. The one that you don't want to know, the one you're in separation with, from right now the one that you can't stop thinking about they will know they're going to get first-hand information and possibly copies of all of the correspondence possibly pictures and video of you uh, getting called out and thrown under the bus and have a massive ego death you know how on uh you watch sometimes on youtube where a husband uh, just comes back from like a, a work trip or something and his beautiful wife is we'll just say this man comes home from being overseas for set, uh, eight months right he leaves his his you know he has a wonderful time with his wife the weekend before he leaves to go on deployment um, and comes back and she had a baby and claims to be his. The thing is, is he didn't realize that those training excursions he had like two weeks before he left for deployment while he was out doing stuff, she was cheating. Comes to find out some of his people, some of his friends and family that were still here waiting for him to come back, caught this girl with another man thinking that she wasn't going to get caught, that she was going to be sneaky, sneaky. And he comes back and he wants to, uh, you know, I don't know if they're married or whatever, but he wants, we'll just say they're not married, okay? And he wants to, she, he makes her think that he's going to propose or do all of this stuff and he's got all these gifts and all of this and she's blindfolded and, you know, he's got these cards saying, I caught her cheating and all of that. Like, she's literally going to videotape you getting thrown under the bus. It's going to be the ego death of a lifetime. Mm -hmm. you will not be seeing this the the seeds that you are sowing with her you are literally just throwing money away when you should be saving it for a lawyer or relocating it somewhere friend mm -hmm. yes 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 let's get a couple of closing messages let's see what spirit has to say here i i don't know what to say besides good luck friend good luck friend May spirit be with you. I hope you learn the lessons you're meant to learn. That ego death feels like it's going to be a harsh one. Especially when it comes to the Empress. I think that's going to be the stab that you... That will literally TKO you. 
somebody's an earth angel star seed i feel like that's used collective now you need to tell all evil eyes you need to cast all evil out and surrender to the divine light okay there is somebody stalking you possibly multiple you need to energetically say, be gone before somebody drops a house on you. That's you casting out the evil. Spirit and the, your angels, the ancestors, they're all watching your back. That's They want to see you close that 15% and get on the, the heading due north. Do not steer off the path, divine feminine. Okay? Do not, under any circumstances, veer off the path at all. Stay very consistent, stay diligent, stay open-minded, stay grateful, stay humble, all of the things, okay? Stay grateful, stay humble. We wanted peace, but you, earth angel, high priestess, you crazy cuckoo banana are doing this to a high priestess, earth angel, starseed person, very, do y'all realize the energy right here? Y'all realize that I have barely even touched this deck, right? Okay, look, there is that war. There is that energetic warfare I've been talking about, and it's your twin. This is your twin, okay? No shit. I cannot make this up. I can't. All effing day I have been sitting here feeling this and haven't had a chance to get it out. It's been too damn difficult, too much energy. Yeah, he's definitely an asshole trying to have that, that big ass ego. That big ass ego is about to get kicked. To, you about to get face plant, bro. Because you got to want to be tough. You you are an asshole. You don't realize that this girl, your wife, whoever this woman is that you are attached to with the seriousness, has black and white proof that your ass has been a cheating. Oh, you're a cheating heart. <laughs> Where's my phone? I need to get... Mm, spirit. <sighs> cheating heart what's the name who's saying that i should I, I should know this who who's saying that cheating heart by hank williams yep was that senior i don't know let me see your cheating heart will make you weep. You'll cry and cry and try to sleep. But sleep won't, wait, excuse me. But sleep won't come the whole night through. Your cheating heart will tell on you. <laughs> Your tears come down like fallen rain. You'll toss around and call my name. You'll walk the floors the way I do. Your cheating heart will tell on you. Your cheating heart will pine someday and crave the love you threw away. The time will come when you will be blue. Your cheating heart will tell on you. When tears come down like fallen rain, you'll toss around and call my name. You'll walk the floor the way I do. Your cheating heart will tell on you. You. I don't think I could have said it any better. Thank you, Chuck, or excuse me, Hank Williams, for coming through with your cheating heart. Yep. Your cheating heart will tell on you. <laughs> yes, it will. Yes, it will. You may be saying her name in your sleep and you don't realize it. She may have overheard conversations. She may have gotten in, uh, intercepted some correspondence. Whatever. She may have your freaking uh, emails tapped. She may have your computer tapped. She may have your phone tapped. There's all kinds. She may have some freaking kind, some kind of like navigate uh, tracking device on your vehicle, your car, everything, bro. Like what else, spirit? I mean, that was perfect. You're cheating hard. Yes, we'll tell on you. <laughs> yep. Uh, yes, you betrayed the wrong one. You screwed around with the sea witch and betrayed her. You are about to get betrayed, Mr. Schmuckoli. Yep, love is an action, not something you can buy. Stop looking to the past or your present will pass you by. I don't feel like that's for you. Please let me help you. I wanted to stay out. That's Is that spirit? Is that you, spirit? Yep, spirit and your ancestors want to help you. The thing is, is... I'm being shown the word inheritance. 
I'm being shown the key the key to your heart will unlock something. Get a fucking lawyer, bro. Your prince charming is slaying a dragon to get to you. You better move it quick. There's that ultimate betrayal. He's a tough guy. Yeah, he's a schmuck and an asshole. Like, what? That your ancestors want to help you. Spirit has been trying to help you. All of them have been trying to help you slay this dragon and keep you away. He literally handed you this person in handed you this person. Ready and willing to love you just right. Y'all are perfect pair. You were you were handed an earth angel high priestess. Do you realize the abilities that this person could possibly have? An actual seer with an a spot on intuition. I'm, I'm a little confused as to what the fuck your problem was. But then again, I'm only, you know, me here with the cards. I don't, I don't know what's going on with you. I'm just reading what's going on here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're emotionally damaged. That's what's wrong with you. Is that what the whole don't look to the past or the present will pass you by? Oh, yes. Thank you, spirit. Now that you see me as a successful person, you think you're going to come with your hand? Nah, bro. Nope. New. No. This person, he may very well come a-crawling back to you, Collective, after he gets the ego time. Oh, look what's on the bottom. Oh, look what's one on the bottom. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Yes, he is the right person, but it was the wrong time. Okay? You are now given a path like we saw with the uh, the energy oracle okay spirit has you on that journey spirit is giving you the rays of sunshine that you need and guiding you specifically through that doorway to complete wish fulfillment right here it's to, meant to ca help you catch your dreams and the thing is is he put y'all in separation for this reason somebody needs a major ego death because they are a wannabe tough guy with a big ass ego big dick energy and they're acting like an asshole and the thing is is if he gets to if, if all this happens and this person loses everything he's going to come crawling back he may have the best intentions but the thing is and there is a but you're going to be past way past it living out your fantasies and your dreams and having everything you've ever wanted and he may come out with his head in his hands, with his hand out, and you're going to be like, I forgive you. Let me get you something to eat. Make sure you got, you know, fresh clothes. Let me wash your clothes. Let me feed you. But you got to go. You need to figure it out. Because where were you when I was on rock bottom? Where were you when this was happening? Where were you when this was happening? Where were you when I put all this effort and energy into me and had to work through all of this and dealing with getting rid of all of this nasty energy and fighting these energetic warfares and these holy wars that you keep putting me through from Empress to King of Swords? You brought war to somebody of this stature. You brought energetic and spiritual warfare to a high priestess, earth angel, starseed person. Have you lost your freaking mind? Or are you just holding a grudge? You had too many chances and each time you failed miserably at bringing this person down. Because if you were successful this person, uh, this time, this person wouldn't be an empress status confirmation from whatever that bang was. Your actions need to speak louder than your words. If you're paying for, where is it? Well, there's that emotional, uh, yeah. I thought I saw it. You can't buy love. It's earned. Whatever. Your actions need to speak louder than your words. And if you think just shagging and putting the dick on somebody and popping or, or popping that punani all over somebody or whatever just to get, get and dr drowning them in money and drowning them in adventures and drowning them in all of these things is going to completely bypass the other actions that you're that you have done or are doing, it's not going to work. The trust has been broken. And none of that is going to fix this, especially with this one, because you know, you know, ultimately that you cannot stop thinking about this one. 
It's weighing on you heavy. You're still second guessing your decision to be with wh who you're with. Okay? 44, 44. The devil is looking for cracks in your divine armor and he found one. And that is why your heart is empty and that's why the person that was supposed to be the best love for you, the better love, is going and getting their own bag while you're stuck in all of this. Instead of, you need to come clean. You need to, you need to come clean. Anything more, spirit, on the nose? Yes, what is it? Shuffle these again? Okay. I was hoping to keep this for an hour, but, you know, stuff happens. All right, one shuffle through here. Oh, spirit are these the final messages okay on the bottom two loyal to, oh, yes it does what what was I saying it's not about what you spend it's about what you do and if you're cheating and if you're trying to bribe somebody and and, and, and cushion the blow confirmation again with freaking materialistic bullshit it ain't gonna fucking work bro so we got it. She, she, of course, where is she? Where are you? Where are you? High Priestess. Earth Angel. Okay, look. She is of sacred bloodline. Okay? That, that, that is on a spiritual journey. A budding star. Okay? That perfect proposal was meant for her. The world is finally getting to see her for all she is. She is walking hand in hand with the Holy Spirit. She is your true twin flame. I've got energy running through me like crazy. The thing is, is you want to close the distance. You want to surrender and make this whole thing back to the way it was when you were feeling all happy and on top of the world. The thing is, is I feel like the trust has been broken on all area, on all on all sides. Okay. No matter how much you say my heart is empty, I miss you, I love you, please, your kiss melts my high, high, ice cold. No. Your actions speak louder than your words. And if you don't heal the damage, the emotional damage that's keeping you burdened and bound to this type of behavior, you will never get that better kind of love. You will continue to be the right person and it will continue to be the wrong time. You will continue to be stuck in the, the in-between and it will cause you to hold more grudges that will completely break down that armor that you have and allow the devil to completely entrap you and bullshit. Okay? These are dragons that need to be slain. Love is an action, not something you can buy. There it is. The thing is, is you gave it to the wrong one. Loyalty does matter, and it comes from, and I'm talking about in all sides, friendship, romance, business, all of it, and you have, being loyal matters. Altogether, it matters. How you treat people matter. You can't just be like, let me use this as an example, and I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm saying this from actual testimony, okay? You can't tell somebody to go fuck off lose your number get you know get out of my face disappear you need to disappear you need to leave me the fuck alone you need to get out of here just because you're not getting your way and when they actually listen to you you come crawling back thinking that they're just gonna drop their panties for you again or drop everything and and, and give you all of their attention and love just because you're dropping a few dollars on them or you're blowing up their phone or whatever you're gonna get blocked and reported for spam and left for nothing left to high and dry bro if you treat somebody like this like that this person's got all their shit in a pile they may not be multi-millionaires but they probably comfortable they probably got their shit in a pile they don't probably they had you know what they had to go through to get this they caught their freaking dreams while you were sitting there being a schmuck they were paying attention to what the spirit guides were trying to teach them Heading for complete wish fulfillment. They let their people help them. They don't need to stock on you. They've healed their emotional damage. They don't want to be, have no towers falling on their freaking head. They want their own bag. Okay? They can do it for themselves. They don't need you. 
They don't need to be attached to you no more because you're too much in this energy. Bringing warfare to them. Lying and deceiving and making it. No, no more. You had way, like this says, you had way too many chances and each time you failed miserably at your attempt to bring that person to the dark, dark side. Okay? They did not go to the dark side. You could not betray them. They rebuked your bullshit back to hell where it was. was. They casted you out and they're going to call, they called all their power back. And then some. Why do you think you're at where you're at? They may be very well close to getting this from somebody that's going to love them completely. Not somebody that just wants to be an asshole. If you want this person and there's even a fraction of an opportunity for you to be with this person, you better come clean. You may want to come clean anyway so you can rest easy when you pass away and have to and, and, and sit there and be judged by spirit. Okay? The best thing you ever did for your twin is pushing them away. Okay? You cannot buy this person's love. You have to put the freaking work in. Your actions need to match your you need to match your words and speak even louder. You need to heal those cracks in your divine armor. You need to let go of any grudges. You need to figure it out and get balanced and figure out what you want. Make a damn decision. Okay? Or you will continue to be the right person and it will continue to be the wrong time. You will never have that twin flame love. You won't. If you don't pick, t take the hand that's being extended to you by the Holy Spirit. Yeah, that there is not only a cup that the Spirit's trying to give you, but that's his hand that he wants you to take and walk with him. He wants you to get back into your uh, the star in the upright. He wants you to continue to being a budding star. He wants you to get on, a, a, on the spiritual journey. He wants the world to see you for all that you are. He wants your heart to be healed. He doesn't want it to be empty. He wants you to close that distance. He's been basically pushing you that way this whole time. To this person that has called. Look. This person has called their power back from you. All of it. And then some. To the 10th degree why do you think you're going through it like this and there's not a thing you can do about it because this person has got their head on right they may have steered veered off a little bit but it was because they were wearing their heart on their sleeve okay you may need to, th that emotional damage loyalty does matter that emotional damage you may need to forgive even if you can, the person that's that you need to forgive is no longer with us or you don't talk to them whatever the case may be you need to forgive so you can be forgiven and if you ever want to be able to look this person in the eyes again at all you have to learn how to get over whatever it is in the past that has damaged you whether it's mommy daddy auntie uncle wife girlfriend friends whatever whatever it is whoever it is you need to forgive it unburden yourself allow yourself to heal and then move forward but until you do you're going to stay in this pompous ass yeah you can what was i saying you can't eat can't sleep can't think straight all you can think of is that beacon of light and all the dark and the beacon of light that is this person that was the light and all the darkness that surrounded you you can break this vicious cycle you can make yourself proud you can heal from all of this if you make the choice to do so if you make the choice to do so but until then you're going to have to deal with the wrath of whatever comes from this queen of swords and there's i see justice peeking out right here right here justice will be served truth will out there will be a balance that will happen there is a somebody is about to get the, the scales will be balanced somebody's getting on the right path they're going to push forward spirit's going to give them Enough time, there's enough time left to prove to spirit that they can stay on the straight and narrow. Are there going to be any more challenges that are going to advert, avert this person off the path? Little ones, but it's not going to be monumental. This person will stay the course. This person will get back on the course and they will walk through that doorway of abundance. And the thing is, is the moment they walk through that abundance, that do doorway of abundance that spirit's leading them to... That tower is going to crash down on this person's head. Collective, keep driving forward. Collective, please keep driving forward. If you have job opportunities that are coming your way, take them. Okay? Yeah, the world is about to flip on this person's head. They were they were playing games. They were bored. They were definitely childish. There was definitely a lot of lies. There was definitely a lot of manipulation. The world is turning upside down, and that marriage is about to be over. I'm not kidding. 
it's right here it's been sitting under the star card this whole time you have you've seen it you've seen me move it yep this is just the cards i picked up from here and then we're like this The truth needs to come out. The, your whole world's about to turn upside down. You are not going to be in that happy, loving relationship that you think you're in. It's going to completely be broken. It's going to be, there's going to be divorce. Big time justice will be served. You are blinded to it now. She may be may, letting you think that everything's copacetic. It's not. She's got an agenda and she is going to take that sword right there. And it's going to, the truth is going to kill you, man. The fact that she has written proof is going to shock the shit out of you. Yep. I'm being told there may have been an intuitive message that was given to you to forewarn you for this. You didn't fucking listen. Well, nobody's fault but your own friend. Yep, wife, who knows? She's got it and she ain't playing. And the thing is, is that separation, that ego death is going to be exactly the brown boot up your ass that you need to wake you up and get shit into balance. It needs to be it's like in this, what I'm looking at here, the queen of coins, which is the wifey poo. Yeah. And uh, the temperance angel there. It's a give and take kind of situation. And spirit was trying to give you the person that, that your twin, that perfect proposal was supposed to go to the twin. That earth angel would have brought you perfect balance and healing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's definitely judgment day. There you are again. Listen, masculine, it's judgment day. Okay? It's judgment day. There is not thing one that you are going to be able to do to get away from this unless you tell the truth. If you want to save yourself from the, you're not, I don't believe you're going to be able to save yourself from the divorce. I'm being told not at all. However, you may be able to get away without the ego death or losing everybody in your community. You may, if you come clean and you actually admit to what you did that was wrong, you may very well be able to keep people from getting the, hearing the wrath that she's going to have for you. Oh my God. Yeah. It's going to be, if I really feel like the truth is best at this point, coming clean and asking for forgiveness. That's Aquarius again. We saw the star on the bottom is Gemini. Oh shit. There's a lot of gem. There's, I mean, yeah. Collective, look, I'm really getting tired of these masculine. <laughs> Your cheating heart's going to tell on you. It already has this woman already in this moment. Does she already have proof? Yes. On the nose. Yes, on the nose, possibly perfectly aligned with what tower moment. It's going to happen and it's going to hit you in every way. It's going to be a freaking mess. It's going to happen. It's going to, you, you, you may have a good job. Your whole job is going to collapse. Your life is going to, your family, your friends, your community, your job, every aspect of your life, houses, apartments, clothes, everything. It's going to, everything is going to be affected. Now, here's what I'd like to suggest. Can I make this suggestion? Thank you, spirit. Here's my suggestion. If you have prized possessions, okay, if there are things you do not want destroyed, damaged, stolen or broken i highly suggest before all this happens i say in the next week or so gather all of those items okay gather all of those items and go put them in a safety deposit box in the bank or somewhere do something to where it cannot be touched and you're the only i would even suggest there's justice again I honestly would suggest taking out a large sum of money if you got money and you got an inheritance or whatever it is. Here's my suggestion to you. I would take out a substantial amount of money in cash, put it in that box along with every other 
personal item that you don't want to see this woman destroy. Cards, tokens of love, anything that you may be hiding somewhere that she may not be thinking to look, you better freaking find a way to get it out of that house and into your car and into a bank safety deposit box and you need to take that key and you need to do something with it that nobody else will know about. Okay? That's Gigi's suggestion to you. That was a, that's all I can give you. Okay? That's all I'm saying. It does I mean I don't know if it's a one-time fee or whatever the case may be. But if you, if you feel it inside that something's a brewing and something just don't feel right, I highly suggest you get anything that you don't want her to destroy and put it somewhere safe. I would also like to suggest you taking out a substantial amount of money and putting it aside. Stop being frivolous. Stop giving her every damn thing in the world. Stop spending it on hoochies. Stop with the gold diggers and the freaking sea witches. Go do something smart with yourself before you end up on your ass in poverty and in despair. Okay? So that way you have something to fall back on after this freaking tidal wave is about to crash down on your freaking head. I'm seeing actual tsunami crashing down on you, hurricane a blowing, tornado happening all at the same damn time, bro. This is going to be a triple, this is going to be a trifecta. It's going to hit you pop, 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 like I, pop, pop, pop. Yeah, mm, you're going to get TKO'd if you don't start listening. If you think I'm just sitting here talking out of my ass, well, I'm not. This shit's been freaking dealing. I've been dealing with trying to block this out all day so I can get some shit done. But Spirit's like, no, G, you need to go do this reading. So that's why I'm here. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Is there anything more, Spirit? Uh, can I close this reading? No. What do you want from... What stone do you want, Spirit? Amethyst one? Christian. You know it's true. Collective. You feel it inside that something's brewing. Things are like random things are happening and it feels like the world is ca caving in on you. It's that energetic warfare. They are energetic. He is doing everything he can to throw you off. He may, does he realize it? Eh. I mean, we know that he's watching what you're doing. He don't like it. He doesn't like the pull. He doesn't like the tantric connection. He does not like that he is not on top. He, he's getting an, e the ego death is damaging him big time. Think about, I like to ref refer to video games, okay? Think Mortal Kombat, one of my favorite games. You get three rounds. Whoever wins the most rounds out of three wins, okay? The thing is, is that round one, he won. Yes. Round two, you won on the nose big time. Now round three is your, your TKO moment. Staying on the path of straight and narrow will knock his ass straight down and TKO him for good. It will teach him every lesson that needs to be taught in the way that he needs it to be taught to him because he seems like a very stubborn, very pig-headed and egotistical pain in the ass. Oh, I wish I was this person's mama. I'd whoop his ass. Oh, if my son ever pulled this shit, I swear it on everything I believe in, I'd whoop his ass. Obviously, he's three. I wouldn't do that. But if he 18 and older, I whoop that ass. Mm -hmm. If my son ever did this shit to a woman. Let me tell you, I'm raising a boy to, to be respectful and treat people with kindness and love unconditionally, unjudgmentally. Whatever happened that caused this emotional damage to this masculine, somebody needs to, spirit saying it, he needs to be the one that puts him on his ass. That ego death, that emotional damage that he refuses to see, he thinks it's just the way it is. Yeah. Well, your cheating heart's about to tell on you and you, all those old outdated ways of thinking. Yeah, they're about to come crashing down on you. Smack you upside the head, realizing that you should have chose the Empress. 
may not have been from such, you know, it's like, think about it like this. Think about the notebook. Allie, she had um, everything. She was handed everything. She lived on a plantation, multiple houses, beautiful this, beautiful that. And what was it, Noah? Noah Calhoun from the notebook? Yeah, him. Oh, yeah. He had nothing. He was a lumber, you know, he worked in the lumber mill. He was, you know, a military person and, you know, just average middle class citizen, maybe low, maybe lower class. But in his eyes, he had everything. He had a good family, fun, you know, all of this. He was, he had depth to him and she loved him. She was never the same when he, when her parents pulled her away from him. And when she saw him again, it about killed her. She knew deep in her heart that it was going to be, you know, that he was the one. She left a man that would literally have put her on the map even more than she already was. If it was because this person may have been middle class or in poverty or whatever, the thing is, is it's so much more than just status and clout and money. And you're about to have an ego death of a lifetime and be humbled all the way back down to ground. You're going to be knocked down from grace. You will fall from grace, fall flat on your face, and you will be humbled and be taught how to be grateful for the things that you have right down to the roof of your head and the food in your stomach. Because the thing is, is if spirit has to take it all away from you where you're sleeping in your car or out on the streets until you learn how to be appreciative for the things that you had, you may lose an entire inheritance that, have, that made you a millionaire over a fucking woman, a sea witch that had some good punani and possibly some clout and status within your community, possibly your office. I don't want to know any more. Is there any more spirit? A little bit. What more spirit? She's got eyes all around you, both at work, at home on your car, everywhere. It's all over. She following every little thing you doing and you probably have a private investigator watching your every move. Your cheating heart's about to get your ass in trouble, friend. Just come clean about it all. This was supposed to be a 20 minute reading and now it's an hour and 10 minutes, so yay. <laughs> an hour and eight minutes, actually. Anyway, anything more, Spirit? No, I'm gonna leave it here. I, I gotta go get myself ready for school tomorrow. I love you guys. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angels, ancestors, loved ones, and spirit guides for helping me through this reading. I close this reading. Bro, get your shit right. I, I don't know what else to say. I, I don't like being so blunt, but it sometimes sometimes people like me have to exist to be able to put the message out there where, the way people need to hear it. Because I, I can sit here and be like, you know, just get you some healing crystals and do some meditation. But I've been saying that. And I'm obviously not getting through to whoever this is because this is not the first time I've picked up on it. And the fact of the matter is, is that all day long I have been dealing with this. I know somebody ain't fucking listening to me. I know somebody ain't listening to spirit. I know somebody ain't listening to the angels. And I know for a fact that somebody ain't listening to their spirit guides that are trying to guide them down away from this shit that have been trying to hand him abundance and happiness pretty much his whole fucking life because he's spoiled, entitled, and just a narcissistic asshole that's got a big ass ego. And I really feel like somebody needs to smack him upside the head. And that's what spirit's about to do. And sometimes people like this, like I have said, are just so damn hard headed and stubborn that they just need to have their ass 
whooped. That ego death is going to be, it's going to be a harsh one, bro. Good luck, my friend. I, I wish you the best. I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. I wish you the best. And I hope that you listen to what I'm saying to you this time and get yourself in a square, make a list, check it twice, get all that shit out the house. So you don't want damage and get yourself some money and stash it. Because if you don't, you're going to be out on your ass with nothing. And all the, the, the I'm being shown one specific prized possession that you hold very near and dear to your heart. That may very well be from the Empress, that lover of yours, that you would die if it freaking anything happened to it yeah that there needs to be your priority if you want to see that survive this you better get that and anything else that reminds you of this person out of that house along with a substantial amount of money so you have something to cover your ass when you walk out of there so you're not completely down and out on your luck and make sure to check your car and make sure that there are no tracking devices on it that and your phone or any of your other personal devices just saying all right i'm going to close this out now thank you guys talk to you in the next one bye for now